Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and uh, we're here today with Mr. Blivin from Fronius here, and uh, he's joined us today. It's not every day we get to hang out, uh, but we're going to go over the uh, Transteel 2200 and just a quick kind of a setup guide in this video. Uh, some of the, the four main points that we got to touch on on what the setup on this to kind of quickly go through it, and uh, we're going to look at the internals and components and stuff like that. Do setup, and it should be all good. Sounds good. Right. Thanks for having me on. Oh by yeah. The way. No rotate the machine around. Yeah. So yeah. what we're going to do is just if, and for you, if you, everybody that has this machine or if you're on the fence about buying this machine and you got questions just some and this is just a quick rundown guide on everything so on, on this what's unique to the Transseal 2200 it has two reels so we can fit an 11 pound spool and we can fit a one pound spool so the one pound spool obviously is going to hold our aluminum wire or you could run stainless steel on a one pound spool, right? And have it. But the, the only thing is you can't run an 11 pound with a one pound spool. It's either one or the other, but it's still pretty unique because we can just flip flop pretty quickly. Um, got our drive roll system here. We got aluminum wire hooked up right now. We got our color coded uh, charts. So they do white, gray, blue, and red. And uh, they all correlate with tips and drive rolls. So it, it's just a uh, color code system. So each of the drive rolls as you can see here in this got an extra one it's red right so it correlates with a wire size and a diameter so that's an 045 drive roll setup um, to flip to the front of the machine here so for a quick setup for the guys that out there synergic mode we got it in that i recommend that for all the new people out there to the welding world so number one pick your wire right here on the side and it's easy to toggle through there we're on aluminum so we're going to toggle down choose your wire diameter we're running uh, 045 aluminum here so and yet that's there again that's pretty easy to toggle through that we're on 045 third step choose your gas we're running 100 percent argon and you can just toggle down through those as well pretty simple and then the fourth step choose your material thickness so we're on material thickness so eighth inch would be 0.125 right and, thousands there so we just chose our material thickness it gives us our voltage and it automatically chooses our wire feed or wire feed speed and you can manually change that um, if you didn't like what the synergic gave you but I just we recommend going right out of the gate with the synergic line I always say it's a starting point so if you don't know where you need to be wire feed speed or volt voltage range on that thickness it's a good starting point but obviously you may travel faster or slower so you might have to tweak it a little bit but also any of you that don't understand inch or fraction like this, there is a chart on the top of the machine that references it to gauge. Okay. So if you know gauge, you can always reference the chart. Okay, that's cool. That's very cool. You know, I, I always suggest that the material thickness is a starting point. And then, you know, if, if you're used to welding or if you've been welding for many years, you know, you can always go off wire feed speed. So if you know your wire feed speed range, you can do that as well as a starting point. So the benefit of Synergic, your wire feed speed and volts are combined. So it makes it easy for the user to set up yeah. based on your material so you don't type. Have to independently choose them. Okay. Very cool. Now you can put this in manual mode and we can we can toggle down through that and you can go right over to manual and you just choose your voltage, wire feed speed. So you, then you don't even have to choose what material you're running, what wire, you know, that wire diameter, your gas, that sort of thing. But Synergic is kind of a nice little, you know, if you're not familiar with the welding world or you're just brand new to this this thing's got a synergic line and it, it tells you basically what you need to set it up at so it's it's really a nice machine now probably one of my favorite features oh, yeah. there's 24 different synergic lines or programs you can choose so everybody's used to welding mild steel or carbon steel or steel in general with this let's say you're not familiar with a certain wire type it's on here so if you're doing silicon bronze aluminum metal core dual shield flux core this machine's ready to go okay very cool no, that's a nice feature. Now, a lot of questions that we get on this is people, they, they want the portability of this unit, so and they want to run on a generator. So they are generator friendly. Uh, we recommend an 8,800 watt generator or an 8,000 watt generator, I should say, to run this unit. You can run up to 330 feet on extension cord on 110. I've done it. It works. And it's, it's amazing. Uh, now, you got to have a good extension cord, but I'm just saying it's got a good, and that power, that the ability to do that, it's in the technology of this unit. It is, yeah, that's where Fronia stands out. They put a lot of money in R&D, and that's one feature, you know, a value-added feature that could help you out in the field if you need it. Yeah. But we, we recommend it a minimum of a 10 to 12 gauge extension cord, so if you are looking at long, 
reaches, you want to start off at 10 to 12 gauge. Okay. okay, I think in our video we had 14s mixed in, maybe a 16 in there, and it yeah. still ran. It was, it was a beautiful thing. Yeah. It? So it's the a, cable might melt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it gets it, hot. It does get hot. Yeah. Now the 100% the due cycle at 150 amps, so it's pretty amazing for a small little machine like this. We got it plugged in here to uh, 220, but what I wanted to show you back this unit is we'll shut that machine off. So we got two gas ports, um, one for MIG, one for TIG. Now this, I just powered the unit down, but it's, they come with four different plugs. And that's just a quick twist plug setup. The unit, just to give you a rundown on that. So it, it comes with this back power cord and then it has twist lock, your, your regular standard 220, and then it has a 20 amp 110. So you, got, you can see it has the crossways, and then you have your standard 110 plug that you can plug into. So when we did our extension cord video, we ran it on 110, and it was, it was a beautiful thing, but it's pretty simple. You just, it lines up, and then you know you're locked in, just like that. There's nothing more to it. We get this thing plugged back up. Very unique, very unique setup to this Fronius equipment. And you know, a lot of people ask me about price point and that sort of thing, and, and how you know they, they notice that the price on these is a little bit more than comp competition. Well, what you're getting, you're getting quality equipment, you're getting quality consumables. So they, they have uh, two different packages. It's a MIG stick package and then a complete TIG complete package. So MIG stick comes with your MIG gun, your ground clamp, and a stinger for that. And then the TIG Complete comes with a TIG torch, ground clamp, MIG gun, and stinger. So TIG Complete's about 2,500 bucks, and the other package is about $2,300. So for 200 more dollars, you get a TIG torch. What you can't get with this is a foot pedal. You can go to a remote hand control, correct? Yeah, it has fingertip control, so you can turn your arc on, arc off, and TIG. And then you can also adjust your amperage on the fly. So if you're sitting there at your bench, you can adjust your heat up or down. If you're out there in the field and you don't want a foot pedal, which you can on this one, you can adjust your heat from the okay. torch itself. And it's always lift arc, right? No it's always lift arc. arc. Okay. So kind of a, you know, you can't get a foot pedal, and that's one of the, you know, one of the questions we always get is they everybody wants a foot pedal, but you can't get it with this unit. Not a big deal. Um, the hand lift arc TIG system is it's a beautiful thing. I mean, they, their TIG torches are really nice quality components. One thing that I do recommend if you were going to buy this unit. Um, is to get our bundle package just because it comes with uh, 030, 035, three different nozzles and a diffuser and it all comes in this nice little bundle. That way you have extra because sometimes uh, Fronius is not distributed across widely across the country so if you go to your local welding supply they might not have all this stuff so buy it, get it at bakersdask.com and add it onto the package and to come with all this stuff. Makes sense so you're not stuck out in the field. You know you got everything ready to go. Yeah. It's a, no, it's a beautiful little package. Um, just, so, just, uh, just to tell you the audience, but if you get a standard stick MIG package, it's still the same machine. So you can always upgrade it down the road, which is a, which is a good thing. So maybe okay. you don't want to spend that extra amount right away. You can always go on bakersgas.com and get that TIG torch later later on. Okay, as well. that's cool. That's cool. Where and where we've seen good success with these units is the ability that it can run aluminum through a regular MIG gun. Um, that that's really the shocker and a lot, game changer, I should say, because you don't have to have a spool gun now. You can run it through your regular MIG gun. Um, and then another thing is that you can actually DC TIG weld and stick weld with this unit. And I've done both, and I'll tell you what, they it's the same constant. I mean, the arc characteristic is great, um, and then pushing aluminum through it, it's awesome. I, I I don't like I'm not a big fan of spool guns. I don't like them, but this is just an awesome system and. Uh, Works out great. You talk about price point, you know, everything with Fronius is high end, even the accessories. You look at the ground ground clamps, how heavy duty it is. The torch itself comes standard in the package with 15 foot leads. So normally it's 11 foot. You know, Fronius stepped their game up and put in 15 foot standard torches so you get that extra reach. But we talk about high end, this is a 320 amp MIG lead itself, 100% okay. duty cycle at 220 amps, which means you can weld at 220 amps 
all day long and you're gonna be within 100% of the storage. No That's pretty good. But you look at some of the things they design, you know, it has a ball swivel in there. Oh, yeah. Which helps with your wrist. So if you're doing a lot of welding, you know, carpal tunnel, um, you know, it feels good in the hand. Oh no, that's real nice. Yeah, that's a great, great feature. I like the extra trigger selection too. I mean, even the consumables. I, and I, we've done a lot of welding. Different, different com competitors' stuff is not. I'm telling you what, this stuff is quality. I mean, really, it is. It's it's good and stuff. Um, all in all, the, the trans steel in, in the competition when it goes up against its competitors. I mean, it really does, it's, it's ahead of the competition, it is, and I can't speak highly enough about it. Um, sometimes though, setup gets people and that sort of thing, and it can be cumbersome in the beginning, but once you figure it out and get it going, it, you'll never go back. Stick to the KISS method. What is it? Stick to the kiss. Keep it super simple. Okay. <laughs> and don't over confuse yourself. Set it up in synergic mode. Wire type, diameter, gas mix, your material thickness, that easy. If you want to go in the menus and all of a sudden you're lost in manual mode, don't make it difficult. Keep it super simple. Okay. No, I like that. That's yeah, perfect. it's the way I do it. That's the way you got to do it. That's perfect. Well, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for some more. We're going to link some videos below too. We're going to run this thing on aluminum, do a setup on that. Um, and find our bundle packages linked below too um, and other accessories that you can get for this unit. Thanks, Chris, for being here. Today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate Thank it. You. Stay tuned.